Two vessels contain a mixture of milk and water. In the first vessel, the ratio of milk to water is 7 is to 3. And in the second vessel, the ratio is 4 is to 1. A 30 litre cask is filled from these vessels. Taking X litres from vessel 1. So as to contain a mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 11 is to 4. If X by 2 litres of the mixture from vessel 1 are mixed again with the contents of the cask, find the resulting ratio of milk to water in the cask. Now let us forget about the second part of the question for some time. Right? Don't look at it. Just, just focus on the first part. It says there are two vessels which contain a mixture of milk and water. The first vessel has got the milk and water in the ratio 7 is to 3 and the second one have it in the ratio 4 is to 1. Now there is a 30 litre cask. So there is another container capacity of which is 30 litres let's say is filled from these vessels. The 30 litre cask is filled from these vessels. Right? Which vessels? The first and the second vessels given here. Taking X litres from vessel 1. So they have taken some quantity from vessel 1. Taking X litres from vessel 1 and the remaining. What is the remaining? 30 minus X. See if they have taken X from vessel 1, they will take 30 minus X from vessel 2. So that the mixture of milk and water will be 11 is to 4. Now, if you, if you look at it, there is like any other uh, allegations and mixtures problem, right? One vessel has got 7 is to 3 ratio, other vessel has got 4 is to 1 ratio. When you mix these two, you get 11 is to 4 ratio. So can you not find out the quantity ratio? Yes, do that. Apply allegation rule and find out the ratio in which the two quantities have been mixed. Which two quantities? Vessel 1 and vessel 2. You understand? This is vessel 1. 7 is to 3 is the ratio. This was mixed with vessel 2. 4 is to 1 is the ratio. The combination gave us 11 is to 4 ratio. 11 is to 4 ratio. You are getting it? Let's say this is like Q1. This is Q2. And this is of course Q1 plus Q2. But that Q1 plus Q2 was equal to what? 30. You got to remember, right? Total quantity is 30 litres in this cask. So can you not find out what is Q1 is to Q2 ratio? And once you get Q1 is to Q2 ratio using the allegation rule, will you not be able to find out Q1 and Q2 as well? Yes. Because we know the ratio or we'll get to know the ratio and we also know the total quantity. So, so let's work on that. Apply allegation rule. How do you apply allegation rule? You have to take either the concentrations of milk or the concentrations of water in all the three uh, vessels, right? So, assuming that all of you have gone through the allegations and mixtures video and you know how to uh, apply that, let me get the ratio of the two quantities here. So, what happens? The first step of the question is this. Don't draw all this and waste your time, right? You won't be given any marks for the drama. So, 7 by 10 is a, let's say we are taking milk concentration. So, 7 parts out of total, 10 parts. In the second one, the milk is how much? 4 parts out of total, 4 plus 1, 5 parts. And in the mixture, it is 11 parts out of total, 11 plus 4, 4 15 parts. So, that's the ratio. I mean, that's the allegation application, right? 7 by 10 is the concentration of milk in the first one. 4 by 5 is the concentration of milk in the second one. And 11 by 15 is the concentration of milk in the mixture. When you apply cross differences, when you apply the allegation rule, you will get Q1 is to Q2 ratio. Q1 is to Q2. Yes or no? And we know that Q1 plus Q2 is 30. This is another point that we know. So what do we get from this one? So we can say Q1 by Q2. Q1 by Q2. In fact, Q1 is nothing but X. Uh, I think we should have taken X directly, right? X and 30 minus X. Q1 is X, right? Anyway, so Q1 by Q2 equals to what? See, uh, 4 by 5 is like 80%. This is 70%. So obviously 11 by 15 will be between that. So Q1 by Q2, Q1 by Q2. Q1 will be like... Uh, 4 by 5 minus 11 by 15 and Q2. Q2 will be 11 by 15 minus 7 by 10. I mean typical allegation application, right? So simplify this now. What is Q1 Q2 ratio? So the denominator here is 15. So 3 times and 12. 12 minus 11 is 1. 1 by 15 divided by here the LCM is 30. 2 times 22, 3 times 21. 22 minus 21 is 1. 1 by 30. Huh, so basically what happens? The ratio becomes 2 by 1, right? See, this is 1 by 15 by 1 by 30. It becomes 30 by 15, which is 2 by 1. So basically Q1 is to Q2 is in the ratio of 2 is to 1. And Q1 is nothing but X there. And we also know that Q1 plus Q2 is 30. So from this ratio, what do you, what do you have to do? You actually have to divide uh, 30 in the ratio of 2 is to 1. What is this 30 total quantity? Q1 plus Q2. This is Q1 plus Q2. And this is Q1 is to Q2. So find out the individual quantities. 30 if you have to divide in the ratio of 2 is to 1, it will be 20 liters is to 10 liters. 20 liters and 10 liters. You are getting it? So basically Q1 is 20 liters. Q1 is 20 liters and Q2 is 10 liters.
So one part of the problem is done and this is nothing there's, there's nothing new about it, right? We have done these type of questions n number of times. Please cut down the number of steps and keep it simple, right? Don't uh, complicate it. Now, we know that this x, x liters from vessel 1, vessel 1 the quantity is 20, so I can say this is 20. And obviously the other vessel will have 10 liters. If this is 20, the other one 10 liters. Now, look at the second part. If x by 2 liters of mixture from vessel 1 are mixed again with the contents of the cask. Now, what is x by 2? See, if x is 20, x by 2 will be 10. Yes or no? So basically now we are doing 10 liters of mixture from vessel 1. Which is vessel 1? This is vessel 1. Right? So from this we will take 10 milliliters more. X by 2 liters of mixture from vessel 1 are mixed again with the contents of the cask. Now understand what is the contents of the cask? This is the content of the cask. So we are going to take 10 liters from this one and mix it with this one. The contents of the cask is nothing but the milk and water which is in the ratio of 11 is to 4. Find the resulting ratio of milk and water in the cask find the resulting ratio so you have to apply the allegation rule once again as simple as that you just have to apply allegation rule once again so one part is over i am doing the second part now right second part what happens in the second part see it is like this i mean again you don't have to do this in the exam but just for the sake of simple explanation right 7 is to 3 plus 11 is to 4 will give you what is the question what ratio is the question how much are we going to take from the 7 is to 3 vessel x by 2 liters which is 10 how much is 11 is to 4 so 11 is to 4 is 30 liters we have already established so the only difference is this time when you apply allocation rule you know the ratio of contents in the first vessel ratio of contents in the second vessel the ratio of contents in the mixture has to be evaluated while the quantities have been given see what's the difference earlier the quantities were not given q1 and q2 were not given the three ratios were given now the quantities have been given and two of the ratios have been given. So just apply allegation rule again and you get the answer. I mean you can either apply allegation rule or you can go for writing an equation to find the answer. Either ways it works. You are able to follow. Like for example, if you don't want to apply allegation rule, see same thing, apply allegation rule. What happens? 7 by 10, this is 11 by 15. So 7 by 10, 11 by 15, I will write it here. If you have to apply allegation rule, what do you do? 7 by 10 in the first one. Let us take milk concentrations. 11 by 15 in the second one the mixture has to be calculated ratio and the quantity ratio is 10 is to 30 so you can solve for m m is equal to what is the question that's what is the question m is equal to what you can solve for m from this one or the other way of doing it is just divide 10 liters in 7 is to 3 so you know this is like milk is to water right milk is to water this is milk is to water right you are able to follow. Milk is to water in the first one is 7 is 3. In the second one it is 11 is to 4. So M, sorry, yeah, M versus W, M versus W. So if you have to divide 10 liters in the ratio of 7 is to 3, how much will you get? 7 liters of milk, 3 liters of water. If you have to divide 30 liters in the ratio of 11 is to 4, 11 and 4 is what? 15 parts, right? So each part is 2 liters. So 22 liters of milk, and 8 liters of water. You are getting it. 7 plus 3, 10 liters. 22 plus 8, 30 liters. Implies, what will be the final mixture? In the final mixture, we will have 7 plus 22. 7 liters of milk and 22 liters of milk. Which is 29 liters of milk. Plus, you are getting it. This plus this. And 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8 is uh, 11. 11 liters of water. So, can I say the ratio is 29 is to 1? 29 is to 11? Yes. That's your final answer. So if I mix these two, I'll get 29 liters of milk and 11. See, total quantity is anyway going 40 liters. 10 plus 30, 40. This 40 distribution is how much? 29 versus 11. So that's a ratio. In the final ratio of milk to water after doing the second step is going to be 29 is to 11, which is option 5, none of this. I know this page looks fully loaded and so much of text here, but it's, it's not that case, right? I mean, cut down all the unnecessary steps like like for example you don't really have to do this in the exam right don't do this lot of space will get saved i mean saving space meaning it looks easier then now it may look complex here you don't have to do this in the exam right don't draw all these diagrams and waste your time here, just just do this step get the ratio you, you don't even have to do this. I mean, this is a mental calculation, right? Total 30, 2 is to 1 ratio means 20 and 10. So you can save a lot of time by avoiding all this red shaded portions, right? And here, if you avoid this also, 
you can just calculate the total quantity of methane water and take the ratio from that. So one step is to get the ratio of Q1 and Q2. Second step is to find out the milk and water. So 29 is to 11 is the final answer.